Today we're going to take a look at replacing the cam sensor on a General Motors 4.2 liter engine. Now today we're doing this on an O2 Chevy Trailblazer, but we're going to replace the cam sensor. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a 90 degree pick here and I'm going to release the locking tab on the electrical connector. So we work it around here a little bit, we get that popped out of the way, so we'll be able to eventually release the electrical connector. We squeeze the tab now, pull it up out of the way, and I'm going to set that out of the side here. Now that's going to give us a, a lot better access to the mounting bolt. To get that, I'm going to take my quarter inch swivel ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. Now, sometimes you might want to pull the serpentine belt out of the way, but right now I'm going to be able to work around that. So let's remove the bolt here and uh, we'll get that loosened up. Once the bolt's out, we're going to set that off to the side. Now, I don't want to break this sensor off inside the timing cover, so we're going to rotate it gently here, as you'll see, and work it free, and then begin to pull it out. Now we've got the old sensor out. We'll take our new sensor. I'm going to take a little bit of assembly lube and cover this O-ring, because we want it to slide in nice and easy into the hole. And so with slight pressure, we'll slide it into place, line it up properly. We're going to reinstall our original bolt. And again, good idea to start this by hand. This runs in pretty straightforward. Now that we've got the bolt tight, we can take our electrical connector, line it up properly, clip it in, and we'll take our plastic lock, lock that in place, and we're good to go. No additional relearns required.